When you start playing more MLB The Show, you may eventually realize that swinging at every single pitch in the strike zone is not the way to go. It's tough to be ready for those inside fastballs while also be ready for those slow breaking balls away. So what I will be doing here is giving you some strategy to help you be more selective and patient at the plate. This can help you get better as a hitter, help you work your opponent's pitch counts more, and help you really make sure that when you are hitting, you're hitting those pitches that you're really prepared for. So let's hop on into custom practice in MLB 22. Let's get into it. By the way, if you want to check out G Fuel, use code SCAN at checkout. Kind of helps your boy lock on in a bit. So as you see, I am in custom practice here. We're gonna go up against Randy Johnson. And I'm gonna try to demonstrate this concept of minimizing the strike zone. You take a part of the strike zone, it could be, and you tell yourself to only look for pitches within that zone. You can even take it to another level and say, hey, I'm only gonna swing at fastballs at this part of the strike zone. So for example, we got Josh Donaldson up here. We have a righty up against Randy Johnson who throws high velocity. So what I like to do a lot of times is look for fastballs on the left side part of the plate. I'm looking for a lot of four seam fastballs. Randy Johnson throws quick online. He is outlier. So you might throw a lot of inside fastballs. What I'm doing essentially here is mentally telling myself, expecting an inside fastball and waiting for that pitch to come. And I'm gonna start my PCI within this zone. And I'm gonna look for the ball to land in this zone and try to only swing at this pitch if it's in this zone. So here we go, we'll start an inside fastball. All right, not gonna lie, I did not know it was a two strike count. That seemed weird. Brand new count. Especially before a two strike count, I'm only gonna swing at pitches within my zone. And the reason this is a good strategy to go about, it can really help you be patient with your opponent, work their pitch count, but also while have you ready to swing. A lot of times people will try to work the opponent's pitch count. They won't have any zone in mind and it'll kind of just take a lot of strikes. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm looking for that inside fastball, looking for it to get to inner half of the plate. Worst comes to worst, if you don't swing at the pitch, that's okay. At the very beginning of the at bat, you have strikes to give. However, look for like a hot zone. Look for a pitch that, you know, you are more likely to hit or more likely to see. And up until a two strike count, right now we're in a two strike count, so there goes the zone. We got to expand our zone because of the two strike count. Anything close to the zone, you're going to give up strike three. You don't want to do that. So you want to stay competitive in the at bat. But before then, you see, I got that fastball right down the middle. I obviously could have crushed that. But you see, what I do in the early part of the at bat is minimize my zone. And you can you always adjust this and adapt this to how your opponents pitch you. You go to specific corners of the zone. This is all mental games. Telling yourself to prepare for a pitch especially in that early part of the at bat. Picking up trends in your opponent, how people normally pitch with certain cards. And you're gonna constantly change this zone and make adjustments to it based on what your opponents do. So here we go, we got Aaron Judge up now, runner on. If I was playing online, there was a good shot my opponent would be trying to get me to roll over the ball. So you could try to minimize that zone and be prepared for something like a down and away breaking ball somewhere around here. Try to get you to roll over into a double play. You could also still just do the same thing and be prepared for inside fastball. Just in case your opponent for some reason wants to keep on throwing inside fastballs, try to get a late swing. Since Randy Johnson throws quick, I'm gonna be prepared for that outlier. I'm gonna sit, do the exact same thing with Donaldson. Look for a pitch on that inner half. Other than that, I'm not gonna swing. I'm gonna work this count if it's a pitch outside of that little mini zone. And I'm just gonna be ready to swing if it is in that zone. See, I see like that's not a bad pitch to hit, but you see, I'm not mentally preparing for that pitch. We're gonna give him that strike. It's an 0-1 count. I'm still gonna look for that fastball within my inside part of the plate here. As you see, this can really help you be patient because now you're not looking at the entire strike zone. See, honestly, I could have swung at that if I was really prepared for it. But now we have a two strike count. We worked a little bit of a pitch count. We got to cover the entire zone now. But you see, now I start to pick up on my opponent's pitching trends and what they're doing. Right now, Randy Johnson's staying away. The Aaron Judge. You got to be ready to cover the zone here. But for me, you know, with how I hit in this game, I'm always mentally preparing for some sort of pitch. Always taking a guess at what my opponent is throwing me. So I am still going to be prepared for an inside fastball. Oh, he gave an inside slider and absolutely hung it. Get out of here, baseball. So now we'll make this a lefty-lefty situation. We got Rizzo versus Randy Johnson. How will Randy Johnson pitch us lefty-lefty here? Let's see, what can we do to change our zone here? Again, I could go for that inside half fastball. Be prepared to swing at only those inner half fastballs. 
find a lot of people when they pitch lefty lefty also pitch down and away sliders throw the down and away breaking stuff so i guess what i'll say is here i'm prepared for one of two pitches looking for inside fastball or that down the way slider for now though we'll make it easier on ourselves because we don't want to be prepared for too much difficulty we're going to erase that left half part of the uh, the zone we're focusing on we'll just focus on those inside fastballs for now see we swung at the pitch it was within our zone i did miss it but I got to be better at hitting that pitch. But you see, I'm minimizing my zone. Capitalize on your opponent's pitching trends and how they pitch you. That ball's demolished. And you see, I'm only mentally prepared to swing for that inside fastball, right? I'm not swinging at anything else. I'm being patient on the other stuff. Say you're, look, we'll make an adjustment here, for example. Now that we got Stanton up versus Randy, let's say that your opponent that you happen to be playing is throwing something a little different, right? Maybe your opponent is spamming breaking balls away maybe throwing a lot of breaking balls below the zone in this stanton at bat instead of focusing that inside fastball we'll try to focus on something like a low breaking ball we'll look at that lower part of the zone here maybe he throws a low slider or a splitter but i'll mentally look for a pitch within that zone outside that zone i'm not gonna swing but you see when you're minimizing your zone like this you could really force your opponent to think an amount this is a good way to adjust and read your opponents. If you're someone who is looking at that batter analysis often, we will be covering that in a video, by the way. Um, with that batter analysis, you can see what pitches your opponent throws you all the time. So what you can do then is read what your opponent is actually giving you in game, what pitches your opponent likes to throw certain hitters, and then make the adjustment in set your zone to that pitch be prepared to swing at that individual pitch it really can help you because again a lot of online players will follow trends and get repetitive and do the same thing over and over again best thing we can do is hitters is minimize the zone be prepared to swing at pitches that we're, we expect to be coming or if not at the very least be prepared to hit the pitches that we can hit best minimize that strike zone be prepared for certain pitches in certain zones and always be ready to swing in no strike, one strike counts at pitches within your zone. And I bet it will help you be more patient, working your opponent's pitch counts more, and help you square up the ball more in your ranked seasons or any mode games. And that will be the show 22. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you check out the rest of the tips that I've covered on the channel up here. I have a large scale hitting tips video if you want to check that out, covering other strategies. And I do plan on covering more here on the channel, even though I have not been covering much lately. If you have any things that you struggle with, let me know in the comments. I'd love to cover it in a future video. If there's something that you really think can help you or that is a common problem for people, I'd love to hear that down below. Appreciate you all watching, though. I'll see you all again in the next video tomorrow. Deuces.